Good evening. So, well, over the last few days, the AI world has been busy chasing bigger brains. Google rolled out Gemini 3, pushing multimodal reasoning and long context intelligence. Anthropic followed with Claude Opus 4.5, doubling down on safety, depth, and enterprise reasoning. Mistral shipped Mistral 3, reinforcing Europe's open weight ambitions. All of them are competing on the same battlefield generation, reasoning, and conversation. But recently, Coher took a very different path. Instead of building a smarter talker, Coher built a smarter finder. And that distinction matters more than most people realize. Because before an AI can reason well, before an agent can act intelligently, it must retrieve the right information first and foremost. And that's where ReRank 4 comes in. Coher has released ReRank 4, its most advanced re-ranking model to date, purpose-built for enterprise search, retrieval, and agentic workflows. ReRank 4 is designed to sit between raw retrieval and generation, ensuring that only the most relevant, precise, and context-aware information reaches the model or agent. So in simple terms, search just got smarter than chat. Most enterprise AI systems work like this. A fast reviewer, which is BM25, embeddings vector search, pulls a broad set of candidates. The system then hopes that the best results are somewhere in that list. The LLM tries to reason over noisy, partially relevant context. And this is where things break. Basically, poor retrieval leads to hallucinations, incorrect answers, agent retries, bloated token usage, slower latency. ReRank 4 fixes the weakest link in the stack using a cross-encoder architecture, which means that ReRank 4 evaluates the query and candidate documents together, capturing subtle semantic intent and reordering results with far higher precision than, well, by encoders or keyword-based systems. ReRank 4 introduces a 32,000 token context window, a four times jump over ReRank 3.5. So if you're wondering why this matters, it is because enterprise don't work with tweets. They work with PDFs, filings, manuals, contracts. So short context windows miss cross-section relationships. Longer windows mean higher confidence in ranking accuracy which tells us that ReRank 4 can evaluate long financial reports, parsed PDFs across healthcare and biomedical domains, semi-structured data mixed with metadata. This is ranking for real enterprise messiness, not benchmarks alone. Coher ships ReRank 4 in two variants, ReRank 4 Fast, which is optimized for low latency, ideal for e-commerce, developer do documentation, customer support triage, basically where speed and relevance drive business outcomes. Coming to ReRank 4 Pro, which is optimized for deeper reasoning and precision, ideally built for finance and risk modeling, healthcare and clinical decision support, manufacturing diagnostics. So in a nutshell, where mistakes are costly, ReRank 4 supports 100 plus languages, with state-of-the-art performance across 10 major business languages, including Hindi, Arabic, Chinese, French, German, Japanese, Korean, Portuguese, Russian, and Spanish, which we believe is very critical. Why? Because enterprise knowledge is multilingual by default. Contracts, emails, records, policies, and especially outside the Western world. ReRank 4 is built for global organizations, not just English first stacks. And this is where Coher quietly pulls ahead. ReRank 4 is the first re-ranker with self-learning capability. And what that means is this, that enterprises can customize ranking behavior, no additional labeled data sets required. The model adapts to domain specific preferences over time. So, for example, a bank's loan officer repeatedly references specific internal policy documents. ReRank 4 
learns that preference and starts prioritizing those documents automatically. So in many internal tests, we rank for fast with self-learning converged toward and sometimes surpassed pro-level performance. This turns search from a static system into a living adapting layer. So the point is, why does this matter for agentic AI? It is because ReRank4 is a core component of North, which is Cohere's agentic AI platform. For agents, retrieval quality is existential. Bad retrieval means more retries, more token burn, saturated context windows, slower workflows. ReRank4 filters noise before it reaches the LLM, as we mentioned. The result, fewer agent failures, lower inference cost, faster end-to-end -end execution, leading to more reliable multi-step reasoning. And this is how agentic AI becomes economically viable at scale. So across public benchmarks, which is BEIR and enterprise datasets, ReRank4 outperforms Voyage, Jinnah, Quinn and other leading re-rankers. The strongest gains are seen in long context retrieval, multilingual search, domain specific enterprise workloads, which means re-rank is available now on Cohere platform, Amazon SageMaker AI, Fast and Pro, Microsoft Azure Foundry, and it can be deployed in VPCs on-prem across hybrid stacks, which is nice. Which actually brings us to the front page take. So while the industry obsesses over who has the smartest model, Cohere is answering a more pertinent practical question. Can your AI find the right information before it thinks? ReRank 4 doesn't compete with Gemini, Claude or Mistral. It enables them. Because intelligence without retrieval is well guesswork. And agents without precision are very expensive toys. ReRank4 quietly turns search into a strategic advantage. We would like for you to please let us know what you think in the comments below. This is Front Page by AIM Network. And as always, think AI, think AIM.